Hi, my name is Joanne Marcinek, and today we're going to talk about how to use some of the creation tools in Picasa. We're going to start with creating a photo collage. To select the photos you want to have in your collage, you can either use an album that you've previously created, which is a group of photos from different folders, or you can select directly from your folders. In this case, I'm going to select directly from the folders. I select by clicking and then holding the control key to choose additional photographs. To choose photos from another album, you're going to need to use the push pit pin, excuse me, to hold photos from the first folder while you choose photos from the second folder. So I'm going to select these photos, I'm going to use the push pin to hold them in my tray, and then I'm going to select a couple more photos. Here we go. Okay, so these are all the photos I want to use in my photo collage. Next I go here and click Create, and choose Picture Collage. The default that came up with this particular picture collage was for a mosaic. There are several different styles of collages you can create. You can find out what those styles are by clicking this down arrow. You can create a picture pile. You can create the mosaic, which we saw before, a frame mosaic, in which the photos are arranged around a center frame kind of looks the same as a grid to me. Then uh, another option is a grid, a contact sheet, and lastly multiple exposures. I haven't actually found a use for this one yet, but someday I might. What it does is it superimposes the images on top of one another. So we're going to start with using a picture pile. When you click Picture Pile, Picasa creates its basic picture pile based on the photos that you've chosen. You choose the size of the um, finished collage from here. You can choose small print, large print, 8x10, etc. I'm going to continue to work with a small print. You can have your photos have borders, you know, adding a white border around every photograph, adding a Polaroid style border around every photograph are going with no borders at all. Uh, down here is draw shadows. That is the default. You can't actually see the shadows because I have a black background. Clicking on this uh, section here allows you to change your background color. So I'm going to change it to a, a paler color so that you can see it kind of creates, when this is clicked, it creates these sort of uh, pale drop shadows. Those are very cool when you are going to keep the uh, collage on its same background. If you're going to use some advanced techniques like removing the background in another program like Photoshop Elements uh, to create an image that can be used with a transparent background on a website, you're going to want to get rid of the draw shadows. It just it comes out funny if you try to make a transparent background. Okay, anyway, so the next thing that you can do is if you like the format that they have, you can simply click Create Collage and it will create a photo based on these pictures. Um, I don't like this because it's covering up people's faces and things like that. So what you can do is you can move the photos around, uh, spread them out so that they're more in an arrangement that you like. Um, the other thing that you can do is uh, scramble the collage, which mixes things back up again. Actually, I didn't really want to do that because now it's made it so that people are getting covered up again. The other thing that you can do is shuffle the pictures. So it will keep your same format, but when you click shuffle pictures, it will change which pictures go in which position. You can resize the photos by clicking on them. You see this wheel and handle that you get here. If you pull the handle, it makes the picture bigger. If you bring it inward, it makes it smaller. You can also go up or down to change the angle of a photo. So once you have your collage looking the way you want it to, and actually this picture the other thing that you can do with photos is you can arrange them. As you see how they're overlapping here, this one is on top, this one is on bottom. If I click on the photo and use my right mouse button, um, I can 
uh, bring this picture to the top or move it to the bottom. By moving it to the bottom, it falls behind these other two pictures. Um, I almost like that, but I think what I want to do is move this one over, this one over, and then arrange this one to move it to the bottom so we have a little overlap here. Okay, so I'm happy with my picture pile mosaic and I just click Create Collage. Picasa then creates the collage and adds it to a folder of its own which makes it easy to find all your collages.